Good evening, BSN family. This is Prophetess Yushirim Victor from Mercy Ministry International. Yesterday, Sunday service, Apostle Renal Victor was under the anointing, and the Lord told him to pray for the seven gates. Listen as the Holy Spirit flows. God is a comfort God. God is a compassion God. Compassion God. Praise God. Praise God. This morning, mm -hmm. the service is going to uh, shift. I feel changer. led to pray this morning. This morning we're going to pray. Nous pas le en pile. The Lord said we must pray for the seven gates. There are seven gates. We're going to pray for them. We're going to pray for family. We're going to pray for government. We're going to pray for economy. We're going to pray for social media. We're going to pray for entertainment, sport and media. Sport, entertainment, and media. We're going to pray for church. So the Lord wants us to pray for the seven gates. Because God has compassion. He's a merciful God. And God is able to do what no man can do. Once we put God first, nothing is impossible. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As we get ready to pray we are going to pray for the government this morning that's one of the gates i am going to ask one of our leaders to come forth prophetess velmer semester she's going to pray for the gate she's going to pray for the gate for government so many things is happening in our world in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the Lord this morning. It's a new day. We are here in the presence of the Lord. And we give him thanks this morning for another day. We thank him for life. Because without life... We are dead. And when you're dead, you're gone for good. And only your soul will be in eternity, wherever you end up. So right now, I'm going to pray for the government of the land. And I ask everyone to be in agreement with me. Because it's all about us. It's not just about one person or one place. This is a nation cry. We ask the Lord to step in our midst. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you right now, Lord. We put our President Trump before you right now, God. You are a God that gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we pray, God, that you will open his mind, his ears, and his heart to hear, to see, and to realize that there is only one true and living God. And that is the God of heaven, the God of the create, the who create the heavens and earth, and who has all things in his hands. So we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that his leaders, his um, advisors, would get in tune with Almighty God and seek for answers that they are seeking concerning this country. Mighty God, we know that things are not looking right right now, but we know, God, that you're still in charge. And it doesn't matter what, my God, you have the answer for all things. You have the answer for this world today, and the answer is Jesus Christ. So we ask, mighty God, for those who are in government, uh, will turn to you because you are the answer for every problem that we face today. Coronavirus, my God, you knew about this before it happened. And you already take care of it. And we know, God, all we have to do is to rely and to depend upon you because we know, God, that you are able to do all things but fail. Because everything that happens, mighty God, we know that you are the Alpha and Omega. 
You are the beginning and the ending and there is no hidden secret from you, God. So Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that the government of this land will turn to you and seek after your face and seek your understanding according how to run this country. Local government also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, we ask, oh God, that you'll turn those politician hearts who do not know you, they're only looking at the numbers. Oh God, to get into position. But Father God, I pray that you'll speak to their hearts right now in the mighty name of Jesus and let the con come to the conclusion that it's not about them it's all about you and you have the answer for all of the situation that they're facing by the god we ask that you take full control over this election that is about to happen the general election and the election that the local election mighty god you already know who you want to be in place in offices so dear father god i pray that you will have your way take full control over these uh, elections that are coming up, mighty God. Those that are to be in place, God, I ask that you place them where they're supposed to be and where they belong. And I ask, dear Father God, that each and every one will turn to you and look to you, mighty God, and call upon you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord, have your way. Take full control right now. And I pray for your peace that passes all understanding to abide in this country. Mighty God, those who are sick with coronavirus, Lord God, you are the healing Jesus. Oh, mighty God, there's no sickness that you cannot heal. My God, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You change not, and what you've done in the past, you can do it again because you're God, and you never change. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor and glorify you for what you're doing right now and what you're about to do in our midst. We thank you, Lord, for the results of the elections. We thank you, God, that the people that need to be in place, that you place them. We thank you, Lord God, that you never leave us or forsake us. We thank you that you're God that sits high and look low. There is nothing that can pass by you, Lord, because you are the God that sees and knows all things. So right now, God, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor for what you're doing right now what you're about to do we thank you and we praise you in jesus mighty name amen, amen. amen. Film, I only pray for the government and we're gonna pray for social media we're gonna pray for the economic finance we're gonna pray for family we're gonna pray for sport entertainment we're gonna pray for pray for educations we're gonna pray for the church we're gonna do a general prayer amen hallelujah father you are God you know all things you have all power all knowledge you are Yahweh you are El Shaddai you are Elohim you are Jehovah we worship you this morning. We praise you, oh Lord, there is none like you. You are Alpha, you are Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are omnipresent. You are omniscient, Lord. You are omnipotent. You are everywhere at the same time. Father, I pray and in the mighty name of Jesus, you take full control. Start you in every home right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray for families right now, Lord. Family are facing so many obstacles. Oh Lord, so many struggles, financial. Oh Lord, I call up in you. You say, call up in me, I will answer. I'll do great and mighty things. Father, I pray you touch every families right now. Many are in the hospitals right now, Lord. Many, oh Lord, have been hardship right now. Many are having hard time right now. They have trouble right now. Your words say many are the affliction. But you will and shall deliver your people out of the mall. Touch every family right now. I pray for unity in the family. I pray for one accord. I pray, Lord, family will pray together. I pray, Lord, for one oneness in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch family right now. Every forces that fighting against family, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Every devour, I uproot them right now in the name of Jesus. I come against every plan of the enemy against family.
family, every agent that is signed against family, I destroy them by fire in the name of Jesus. Every assignment of the enemies over family, we destroy it by fire in the name of Jesus. Touch every family, Lord. Bring them together again in the name of Jesus. Bring them in harmony again in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray for the church. Lord, I pray you, you, pray, you touch every church. I pray there would be unity among the leaders in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray you restore church in the name of Jesus. You are God Almighty. You place church in the name of Jesus for worship. You know all things, oh Lord. You know all power. You have all grace. You give all grace. You are a merciful God. You are a comforted God. You are a compassionate God. Father, I pray for all the church around the world right now. Oh Lord, you know all things. People need a place to worship you, Lord. To shabak your name, O oh Lord. To barak your name, O oh Lord. You are the God of Israel. You are the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. You know all things. You have all knowledge, all power. We worship you this morning. We put all the church before your throne of grace, O oh Lord. You know all things. O oh Lord, restore now in the name of Jesus. Deliver now in the mighty name of Jesus. Set free now in the name of Jesus. Every agent, every plan of the enemy against church. We come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the sport. We pray for entertainment. Father, I pray you have your way. I pray you lead, you guide. I pray you deliver, you set free. You know all things. You have all knowledge. You have all power in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for school. I pray for education, oh Lord. Oh Lord, there's many struggle right now. They don't know what to do, oh Lord. But you know what shall we do. You know what must be done, oh Lord. We put the education before you, Lord. Family before you. Children before you, Lord. Many parents don't know what to do, oh Lord, with the kids. They don't know whether the kids shall go to school or not. Oh Lord, I put that before you. You the God Almighty. There is no confusion, oh Lord. I come against the spirit of this unity. I come against every confusion. Oh Lord, the education before you. I have kids need to be educated in the mighty name of Jesus. We put the school before you, Lord. You the God Almighty. You know all things. You have all knowledge, all power. We put the economics before for you. Oh Lord, many families don't have job. Many are struggle, oh Lord. Many are the affliction. Oh Lord, I pray for deliver. Oh Lord, I beseech thee. Send now deliverance. Send now favor. Send now favor. Send now power in the name of Jesus. Open doors in the name of Jesus. Open doors in the name of Jesus. Father, many families don't have a job, oh Lord. I pray, oh Lord, you supply the need. For you say you will supply every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Oh Lord, I beseech thee by the message of God. You are the God Almighty. Send now a financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Open doors, oh Lord. Open heaven over family, oh Lord. Make a way where there seems to be no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the social media is in your hand, oh Lord. Oh Lord, take full control, oh Lord. Every satanic forces that attacks social media, we put it before your throne. Oh Lord, send now a restoration. Oh Lord, you are the God Almighty. We lift up our eyes before before you, we put all the seven gates before you, Lord. Send now deliverance to every forces, every stronghold, every plan of the enemy against the gates. We come against them in the name of Jesus. Your word said, Oh Lord, in some hundred, some twenty twenty-four, Lord, lift thy head, O ye gates, be lifted, Lord, for the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord Almighty, the Lord of Israel, the Lord mighty in battle. Oh Lord, we thank you for the gate. Deliver every gate, set free right now, make a way right now, restore right now, family before you, Lord, the government before you, Lord, education before you, Lord. Oh Lord, break every curse, break every stronghold, every agent, oh Lord, that fights against the mighty name of Jesus. We come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Take full control, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Before we take communion, we are going to pray for those who need a touch in their bodies this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you right now. 
We thank you that healing is in your wings, O God. And Father, as we partake of your body and we drink your blood, we expect wholeness in our lives. Nothing missing, lacking, or broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the God that sit upon the throne. So we thank you right now for visiting your people this afternoon, O oh God. We thank you, Lord. We surrender. We put it at your feet. In the name of Jesus. You are a great and mighty God. You are a compassionate God. In the name of Jesus. BSN family, we need to continue to pray for the seven gates. The enemy wants to kill, steal, and to destroy. So we have to continue to pray for the seven gates. And Psalms 24 verses 9 says, Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may go in. We need to continue to pray for the seven gates because the enemy, he wants to kill, steal, and to destroy. May God continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus.